Good morning, Oklahoma TSA, and thank you for joining me for the engineering notebook part of the VEX 101 virtual breakout session. Um, so during this video, we are going to cover what an engineering notebook is, why people use it, why you should use it, and um, how to create a very successful engineering notebook. So to start off, an engineering notebook is a book in which an engineer will formally document in chronological order all of his or her work that is associated with a specific design project. So breaking that down, basically all that means is the engineering notebook is a legal document in which you put everything that you do for a project and you make sure it's in chronological order, which means day by day basis. So for VEX Robotics, um, I put everything that I do for the robot, everything, every step, every problem, every solution in this notebook and I go on a day by day basis. Um, now, why should you use one? Engineering notebooks are very important for VEX. Um, you can use it for problem solving. So if you have a problem, you document it. If you have a solution, you document it. And then if you have that same problem again, you can go back and refer to what you did the first time so you know how to fix it. So it, it's a very useful document. Um, and including that, you get awards for quality engineering notebooks. I have gone to the World Championship five times and two of those five times, no, I take that back, three of those five times were because of my engineering notebook. So this thing is an amazing document that will pave your way to success if you do it right. Now, if you are in VEX, don't plan on being in VEX, that's great, because this will still help you. In TSA, there's documentation that you have to do for certain projects, um, and when you document, a lot of Oklahoma TSA does not do their documentation very well. You just slop it together, at the last minute, night before the competition, an hour before the competition, and it becomes your Achilles heel. Um, you could have a great project and not very good documentation, and that will be the reason that you don't meddle. So you want to make sure that your documentation is up to par, so this will help you. Um, jumping into it, the big important elements of an engineering notebook are consistency. So the first thing we're going to talk about is consistency here. And the best way to show you this is my table of contents. So in the table of contents, obviously you've got the titles of every page and the date of every page, but I've got some colors over here on this side and a color code on this side. Um, so what I did here is I have everything labeled according to what it is. So all my purples are project management, meaning like my design process, my team profile, my team meetings, everything that we did that kind of pertain to the team and not the robot. Now, in my yellow, I have programming. In my blue, I have my object retrieval mechanisms, all that kind of stuff. And this makes the notebook really neat and organized. It doesn't get you any more points, but it makes it nice and organized, and judges like that. Um, and you want to try to keep that consistent. So if I only did my color coding um, for half of my um, table of contents, and see I left part of it blank here, that creates an unorganized, messy notebook, and that actually will cost me points. So you wanna be careful about making sure that you stay consistent with organizational elements. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna talk about the design process, which is very important. So right here, I've got my design process. And basically all this is, is it's a chart that leads you through the steps to define and solve a problem. So I use the PLTW version here, and all that is is it tells me I define my problem. And is my problem valid and justifiable? It is, so I move on to the next step. If it's not, I go back up and have to redefine my problem. So this is just a really great way for you to learn exactly how to solve a problem and how to do it without being messy and all over the place. Going back to consistency with this, you want to show in your notebook or in your documentation that you do this throughout the entire project. So um, the very first thing I say about my robot is, According to the first step of the design process, I'm going to define my problem, which is I need to create a successful robot to solve this year's challenge, plain and simple. So just make sure that you are keeping consistent with all your elements and using that design process. Moving on to the next thing, we're gonna talk about labeling sketches. So when you do an engineering notebook, you usually um, do more sketches and drawings than you do writing on a page. And here, judges like to see um, versatility. So I've got some pictures, I've got some sketches, I've got different views of it. And 
honestly, you don't have to be an artist to do this, okay? You have to have drawings on your notebook and you don't have to be an artist to do it. I am not an artist at all. Um, so all my sketches are most of the time 2D, or well, not 2D even, they're really one dimensional, um, but I label them, okay? So you could have chicken scratch on there and as long as you label it, judges know what you're talking about and it's okay. But if you don't label it, you will lose points and um, it'll be a lot harder for you to go back and understand what you were doing. So I just labeled that this is an Omni, this is three hole C channel, this is a traction wheel, okay? So this notebook is from two years ago now and I still know what I was doing on this page because I labeled everything. So making sure that you label sketches is very important and consistently doing that, going back to the first step. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna talk about is journal entries. Um, up here on every page, you really have to have a journal entry. And all that is, is talking about the main points of that page. So you don't have to have a diary entry about what you did that day or being upset because you lost a competition or being upset because you made a bad grade in math. Okay, you don't have to do that. All you really need to say is outlining everything that's going on on the page so you can refer back to that later and understand it. So here, I just said we decided to try a six wheel drive chassis to get over the parking tile easily. We also decided to try moving the front wheel up one hole to aid in climbing the tile. So that's all that is. And then I show how we did that on that page. So you don't have to have a diary entry and it doesn't have to outline every specific detail. It just kind of outlines what's going on on the page and who did it and why. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the live Zoom and you guys are gonna get to try to make a page on your own. So let's get ready and get into it.